View Options, which can be accessed from the View menu when in the Finder, allows you to adjust how the Finder and items on the desktop are displayed. I'll start out from just the desktop with no Finder window open. I can either go to the View menu, View Options, or just type Command J. From here I can adjust how large icons of the de on the desktop are displayed and how far apart they are spaced. Here I am able to change the size of the file text to as small as 10 points or as large as 16. These buttons allow me to choose to have the file name displayed on the bottom or to the right of the icon. Choosing to show item info will add another line of text to some items. You can see that my hard drives display their storage size and how much space remains on them. Show Icon Preview will show a preview of the actual file as the icon, rather than just a generic symbol for the type of file. This Bootcamp User Guide here is a PDF. With the Icon Preview option on, it displays the actual content of the PDF. When I mouse over it, I can use these arrows to move through the pages of the document. If I turn off Icon Preview, the icon is switched to a general PDF. Some people like to have a preview of the actual file, and others prefer to see the generic symbol so they can know right away what type of file it is. So this is just another personal preference. Here at the bottom of the View Options window, I can arrange these files in several different ways. If I choose the Arrange the Files by Kind, they are rearranged automatically. I cannot drag them to a new spot, they are locked in. If I switch back to None or Snap to Grid, I can move them again and arrange them to my liking. I prefer Snap to Grid here just so I can arrange the files on my own, but also have them automatically align into a grid. From within a Finder window, I can adjust options for each Finder view. In Icon View, I have much the same options as I did while on the desktop. The only new setting is here at the bottom where I can assign a custom color or image to appear in the background of Finder windows. Within List View, several options for what columns get displayed are available. Icon and text size can also be adjusted. In Column View, I can again adjust text size and icon view options. The cover flow view has the same options as list view. I encourage you to try some different view options and see what will work best for you. Depending on the size and resolution of your Mac screen, how you choose to display your files in the Finder and on the desktop could vary a great deal. The general look of the Finder window can also be adjusted with a few options in the Finder view menu. Here I can choose to hide the sidebar and the toolbar. This leaves a very minimalistic finder window. If you get comfortable na navigating with keyboard shortcuts like Shift-Command-O to get to your Documents folder, using this kind of view can work. I'm going to go back to my standard finder look and add a couple of other options. First is the status bar. 
This adds a gray bar to the bottom of the finder window that lets me know how many items are in the currently selected folder and how much room is left on the hard drive. Finally, I can show the path bar. This gives me a breadcrumb trail like look at where I am in the hard drive. Double click on a folder in the path bar to go back to that folder. 